3-0 defeat. It was an encouraging display by Argyle, but manager Kevin Hodges still has major injury problems, not least up front, where Sean McCarthy will be out for the rest of the season. So, could they find the target at Rochdale? The commentator, Graham Sellers. Well, it's knocked on to Andy Morris. And you can see the frost over that side of the pitch, where the sun has not been able to melt it away. Well, he was robbed of the ball then, Forrington. Now, this is Andy Barlow. Well, it's a long one. Morris is there, and it's him that directs the header over. Well, Plymouth Argyle just allowed the fullback, Andy Barlow, all the room that he wanted there, and he got the cross in. Morris with the header. It was quite a bit wide, wasn't it? Barlow then to take Plymouth's second corner, the second of the game, in fact. It's a better delivery, and the header's from Branston. Well, it wasn't that far over. Well, Guy Branston and Mick Heathcote have been up for both corners, and Branston, this time in the ideal position, just couldn't keep his header down. Nicely flicked on, and it's right in the path of Phillips. Chance here. What a good shot. And the keeper did get a touch. Well, Phillips released there, and that was a terrifically struck shot there by the Argyle number nine, and the keeper got two hands on it. It's the fourth corner of the game, and it's the fourth Plymouth Argyle corner. Barlow's taken three of them. This is one of them. Branson's in there again. Hargreaves has cracked his head. That was Heathcote. It's in the back of the net. Branston got the last touch. It's a goal. Well, when that corner came in, there was all sorts of Plymouth Argyle presence, and eventually it comes to Branston. He knows where the net is. He's already had a header fly over. It's 1-0 Argyle. Well, that's gone all the way through to Sparrow. He got the ball in, and what a glaring miss from Michael Holt. Well, as Sparrow clipped that ball in, Holt was right there on the six-yard line. How on earth did he put that one over? It was easier to score. McCall, Hargreaves still down. Barlow, McCall to Forrington. Phillips and Moje in the box. Can he find one of them, Howard Forrington? He might go in alone. Well, he got a shot in, and well, that had the keeper scurrying. Well, Chris Hargreaves was on the floor, lying face down, injured all through this sequence. Eventually, Forrington takes the responsibility himself, and that deflected shot could have gone anywhere. McCall. Barlow. Steve McCall, who replaced Argyle's goal scorer. Guy Branson, this is Hargreaves, he's inside the keeper. He's just missed the target. What a tremendous effort, though. Well, Chris Hargreaves had no angle whatsoever there. He did well to keep it on the pitch, let alone get it somewhere near on target. Very unlucky. And, well, it's Mark Stewart trying to clip the ball in, away by Barlow. Only as far as Carden, and it's narrowly over. Well, it came out to Carden then, and he seemed to have all the time in the world to size up where the target was. And then he goes and puts it over the bar. I can tell you, manager Graham Barrow is not pleased. Well, uh, yet again, the free kick eventually finds its way to Mark Stewart. He's going to have a pot at goal. It's struck the upright, and it's been put in by Michael Holt. That's the equaliser. Well, we've had 17 minutes of the second half at Spotland. It's been all Rochdale pressure. They've really been asking questions and knocking on the door. It comes through Stewart, but the goal itself, Michael Holt struck into the net. Paul Carden, Andy Morris for Rochdale, Robbie Painter. Comes back to Painter, it's a snapshot, well taken by Sheffield though. Well, both teams think that they can win this tie with about five minutes to run here at Spotland and both teams surging forward. They've taken the midfield completely out. That snapshot from Painter, well held. We'd, uh, we'd felt we'd done enough, created enough chances to have won, but um, all credit to Rochdale, put us under a bit of pressure second half and, uh, and got their point. 
You led for quite a long time in the game. Obviously, they put you under a bit of pressure in the second half. Were you disappointed that you didn't go more up at, at half time? Because you had a lot of chances. Yeah. yeah, we had a lot of chances. We had a few breakaways, but uh, you know, I, I felt that Rochdale had a few as well. So I think in the end, when you look at the game over 90 minutes, then it was a fair result. But yeah, coming away from home, taking the lead, and being in front for so long, we, we're disappointed. Yes. So there's the middle section of Division 3. Argyle 13th with 35 points. Exeter 16th with 33. Argyle, though, still with that game in hand.